everybody welcome back to my channel so today i have another haul for you guys literally my favorite videos ever and it is a pretty little thing haul yes i've gone a little crazy um my student loan came in last night and yeah that happened so let's get into it there i have actually tried on these um pieces already just because i just i couldn't wait could not wait um there are a few things that i don't like so i will show you the things that i don't like but i won't show you the try-ons because some things just don't fit or just look horrendous but we'll get started okay actually i may as well show you the things that don't work first oh and also i have two things from primark to show you guys but i'll do that in the end so it was a pair of snake skin really, really loud snake skin leather look trousers now i'd wanted a pair of these well i've wanted a pair of like leather look trousers for ages but they never seem to fit me right it's like they won't go over my bum or they'll go over my bum and then they'll be too big on my waist do you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of girls have that problem um and it was the same issue with these i was like right i'll get a size 12 just because i didn't want them to be too small and i wouldn't be able to get them over my ass but they're just huge they're too long on my leg and they're huge on my waist and they're just big all over to be honest they're just huge um i thought they were gonna possibly fit but they're just gigantic um i don't know why they're so big in like every area these are definitely not a 12 look how huge they are um but then i think even if i've got a 10 they wouldn't have fit either they probably would have just not got over my bum so i'm not even going to bother repurchasing these i'm just going to send them back and try and find maybe a different pair from somewhere else but this is what they look like they're so pretty love them but they're huge and they're really long well they're long on me i'm only like five foot three so if you're any shorter than that don't get these um they probably fit you if you're about five five maybe lengthwise but yeah these were about 35 pounds i want to say so they weren't cheap um so yeah i'm gonna send these ones packing the other thing is it in the other thing that i'm sending back is like this blazer oh, i don't know how to explain this because i'm not going to show it to you on because it looks like a dressing gown it's basically an oversized white blazer right this looks i can't really show you this um i'll put the link down below if you want to see what this looks like but it's basically just a crepe material white really oversized jacket i guess you'd call it and then it's got like this tie bit and it comes to below the bum so it's below your bum and i bought this in a size six and it is still pretty big um i knew it was oversized so i was like if i get it in a six it might be shorter because i didn't want it as long as a photo but it actually isn't shorter and it's still actually quite big um so and i just didn't like the way it looked i feel i felt like i was in my dressing gown i was like i can't go out in this it looks ridiculous i might actually show you this on just because it doesn't look awful on me like it's not that it doesn't fit or anything but it just it isn't me i think it just looks a bit silly so i'll show you this one on just so you can see because it's actually really difficult to show what this looks like okay everything else i do like um there are a few things where i'm a bit like mm, do i keep do i not but i do actually like everything else that i got so the next thing is like another white i don't know i have no color in this haul by the way i'm not about color these days i just love the kind of neutral tones so i got another white kind of blazer thing these are always so difficult to show but it's got quite puffy sleeves like that and you basically just close it and it's got like this 
belt detailing that goes around it. Hopefully the try-on will show you better because I genuinely can't show you this because it's really hard to show. That is what the back of it looks like. It's really creased right now. I do apologise. Um, but I think it's really lovely and fitted. I think it's very sophisticated looking. It's something I wouldn't usually go for, but I feel like it's really in at the moment. Um, so I was like, yeah, gonna give it a go. And I actually really like it. I think it will look better when it's ironed um, and when my hair's down. I don't know, I think it'll look better. But I am gonna keep this. At first, I wasn't sure, but I'm gonna keep it. Because I think it'll be a really nice piece for like, an, like, some, like a birthday or a meal. Keep going out of focus, it's really annoying. Um, I think it'd be nice for like a meal and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep that one. It's something different and that I don't usually would wear. That does not make any sense. Anyway, next, another white piece. This one I'm not 100% sure of, just because this is not the material that I expected it to be. It's also like this crepe material and I expected it to be more cottony. Um, if you watched my last haul, I wear it, I'm wearing like a black cotton bodysuit and that's also from Pretty Little Thing. And I love the material of that, loved it. So soft, really, really nice. And I expected this to be the same material for some reason. I didn't look into the material. This is something I should do, but it's like a crepe material and not like cotton and I really am not a fan of this type of material from Pretty Little Thing. They do use it quite a lot in their tops I think to make things cheaper and more affordable but they're actually not that nice, like the feel isn't great. Um, and also because I thought it was the same material as my last bodysuit that I bought, I got it in a smaller size because I thought it would be stretchy. Um, and it's actually not. It's not that stretchy. I bought this in a size eight. I think this was around 20, was it 20 pounds. I feel like it was 20 pounds, but I could just be making that up. I will be putting the prices of everything on the screen for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I do like the whole one shoulder thing. I really like it. But I'm just not sure. And it's because I bought it in a size, I bought it in a size eight. I should have got it in a 10 just because I thought it was the other material. Um, it is quite tight on my arm. Um, so it's a little bit uncomfortable, but I might end up keeping it just because I do really like the style. And I'm sure I will wear it. It's not that I won't wear it, but I'm just disappointed that it's not the material that I thought it was. That's all I'm saying. Okay, next piece is another like what do you call it belted jacket top thing in this really nice stone colour these are really difficult to show I find um, what they look like but it's kind of like cargo style because everyone knows cargo is really in at the moment yeah so it's kind of like cargo wilderness safari style do you know what i feel like wearing this i do feel like someone on safari but i love it um i really really like this and you tie it at the front like this it's got a little button in there so you can, can do it up this oh, i can't remember how much this was i want to say 22 pounds something like that um and it's really really nice i actually bought this in a size 12 um, I think it was the only size they had left and it was a petite um, item in the petite range. So I thought I'll get a 12 because it probably will be quite short and small anyway. Um, and it's actually a perfect fit. I'm really happy I got that size. If I'd got any smaller it wouldn't have fit. It would have been too small. So I really, really like this. Next we are going to go on to more of a dressy top i've been wanting this for ages and i just haven't got around to buying it it's kind of is this snake print or is it yeah snake snake print crop top and it's kind of like square neck so it goes over your shoulders like this and it's got long sleeves and they're kind of cuffed at the end i love this i got this in a size 10 i wish i could have got it in an eight but they only had tens left so i just 
got the 10. Um, it's a little bit big here. Like these bits drop a little bit if I move too much, but I can deal with that. I really, really, really like this. It's my fault for getting the wrong size, but it's beautiful. Really nice just for any casual day or night out. And yeah, I think this, mm, can't tell you the price. I will be putting it here for you because my memory is horrendous. Okie dokie. The next thing is another bodysuit. I love bodysuits these days. They're like my favorite thing. This is inside out, lovely. So this is the bodysuit. Actually, you can't really see because it's black, but it's a very low cut. This is the material that I like from Pretty Little Thing, like a cotton material. It's so soft and so stretchy. Um, so I got this in an eight and I'm really happy I got this in an eight. If there's anything in this material, go down a size because it, it, it is quite stretchy. Um, yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, always go off track. It's a really low cut bodysuit and it's kind of got, show you. It'll look better in the try on, like this. These bits here. Okay, I can't show you, you'll see in the try on. But it's really, really lovely. It is very low cut. I do have to warn you, um, nip slip could happen. So, you either risk it for a biscuit and don't wear anything underneath like, I would wear nipple covers with this if I wasn't going to wear anything underneath it. But personally, if I was going to go out in this, I'd probably wear like a bralette and just have it kind of showing. And I think that would just look really, really, really pretty and flattering. This, very casual, so you can wear this in the day and the night. It's brilliant. I love it. I'm trying to speed through everything because I feel like my last haul was really long. Okay, this is the last item that I've got from Pretty Little Thing and then I'll show you two things that I bought from Primark today. This I'm absolutely, this I think this is definitely my favourite item from the whole haul. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's a oversized kind of cropped hoodie or sweater, sweater because it doesn't have a hood on it and it's like this gorgeous nude colour. Oh! And it is so soft. It's got the, the zipper detail here. And you can wear this without anything underneath, to be honest. It's not too warm. And it's just a lovely size. It is oversized, but it's not too oversized, which I'm really happy about. Because I was really contemplating whether to get the small or the medium. Um, but I opted for the medium. And I'm very happy I did. Because it's not too oversized. And I wanted it to be... Because it hits you kind of just on your waist, just like, yeah, just kind of maybe below where your high-waisted jeans would hit. So I'm really happy about that. It's so soft, really good quality. I can't remember the price. Like I said, prices will be on the screen for you guys. But yeah, love, really happy. So that is everything that I bought from Pretty Little Thing. It's not my best haul that I've ever done. Um, maybe it was my fault, I just didn't pick the right items. But I will be sending, obviously, those two things back. Um, so, yeah. But I am happy with most of the things that I've got from this haul. So, let's go on to the two things from Primark. So, here's my Primark bag. You may be thinking, you got two things why is that bag so huge i know i bought another jacket i have issues but i couldn't resist i've seen someone on youtube actually showing this jacket quite a while ago in a haul and i was like why hasn't my pre-mark got that jacket i genuinely have been to pre-mark three times since watching that video and the coat has not been there and i was like why why because I was just obsessed. I needed this coat. So I went in today because of my student loan. Thank you. And it was there. I was so excited. And they had one of my size left. So I was like, meant to be, hun. Meant to be. So. It is this 
gorgeous corduroy, well, it looks like corduroy, but it isn't, um, puffer coat. <gasps> I'm in love. I got this in a medium. So yeah, it's actually quite oversized because usually in puffer jackets, I do go quite, like up a size. Um, but this is a medium. I would usually go for a large, but I tried the large on and I wasn't a lover of it. It would just look too big on me. So I got the medium and there was one size left of this. So I was so happy. Of course, they're probably going to bring more in, but I was like, I need it today. So yes, and this was £25, people. £25. Shook. Because if this was in Urban Outfitters, and it looks like something Urban Outfitters did last year that I really wanted, but it was like £70, and I was like, oh, come on now. Really? That's a bit overpriced. So I got this one. I feel like I've got all of my winter coats now, so I'm done. I mean, I say that, and I'll find another one. Um, they actually do this in another colour, like a rusted colour, but I don't have any kind of cream white coat so i was like i'm getting that one the rest one was nice but it's not really a color that i wear often i know that i'll wear this one a lot so i'm so happy with it and then the last thing that i bought which i'm absolutely buzzing with are some trousers well jeans slash trousers i have been looking and trying a multitude of leather look jeans they always just don't fit right. Now these don't fit perfect, but they're the best I've ever tried of all the ones that I've tried before. I've tried some from ASOS, tried some from Missy Empire, I've tried some from Miss Pat. I've literally tried them from everywhere. And Misguided I've tried some from. And they've just never fitted right. They've either, ugh, they've either been too long on my leg, too big on my waist, I can't get them over my ass. It's just a nightmare. And I really wanted some for this autumn winter because I feel like they're always really in. And I spotted these in Primark. These gorgeous leather look jeans. And these are actually, they say super high, super high waist skinny. And then they also say, let's get a focus on this, super stretch. Super stretch is what I need in my life because that just makes me believe that these things are gonna fit me. So I had to try them on in the shop because I didn't want to risk bringing them home and them not fitting and they fit beautifully. They're not too long on my on my legs and I'm only five foot three. Um, I can, they're possibly like, they ruffle a little bit on the bottom but not too much so I roll them a, a little bit and they still look really nice. The only issue with them is that they are too big on my waist. They kind of gape at the back, which obviously is very annoying. Um, but nothing a belt can't fix. These have belt loops. And they are beautiful. I got these in a size 12. I actually looked to see if, because I thought because they're so stretchy, maybe I'll actually be able to fit into a size 10. Not usually. But I thought I'd give it a go, but they didn't have any 10s left. So I was like, I'll just get these. And I'll either get them taken in or just wear a belt with them. My mum could probably take them in for me. So I'm really happy with these and I just can't wait to wear them. So yeah, that is the end of my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, click the subscribe button down below and you'll be notified for whenever I upload. And I would really be thankful for that. Um, yeah, thanks guys. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.